Welcome back. Believe it or not, it's Sea Otter Awareness Week. It celebrates the vital role sea otters play in the ecosystem. Here with more is Miss Mallory Lindsay from Miss Mallory Adventures. Good morning. Good morning. How are we doing? I'm doing well. So, you know, talk a little bit about Sea Otter Awareness Week because they are such cute. They almost look cuddly, even though I know they're not. I know. For some reason, whenever I see one, it reminds me of the gopher off of Caddyshack. I have no idea why, 100%. but it just, puts a, <laughs> it just puts a biggest smile on my face. But yes, not only are these the smallest marine mammals in the world, and they look cute and furry and cuddly, but they are also so, so important to their ecosystem. They are considered keystone species, which means that they have a huge role in the health of the eco ecosystem that's around them. For instance, um, in our area, we have sea urchins, right? And if you don't know what sea urchin is, it's that spiky little creature that our feet just love to find whenever we're exploring those rocky areas. But they are a main food source of otters and these otters are able to keep down the population so when the populations get too big they tend to start overgrazing our kelp forests and what typically happens is when they're grazing around they will chop off the bottom of the kelp the kelp floats up and it's taken away with a current when too many of these strands kind of lift up and float away then the entire habitat kind of just floats away with it and these ecosystems are so important for other types of fish species and also our economy as well. Talk a little bit about some of the characteristics because I know that they eat quite a bit and they also have really thick fur, which I mean, you can kind of see that as you're looking at them. Yes, so they have the densest fur of any animal in the animal kingdom. We're talking up to a million follicles per square inch of body. And if you think about like just our hair, we only have maybe a couple hundred per square inch. So to multiply that, to be able to fit all that into that area is just incredible. And they spend so much time grooming this coat. It's their only line of defense against the super cold waters. Unlike many other marine mammals, otters don't carry a layer of insulating fat or blubber. So they have to rely completely on the cleanliness of their coat to kind of waterproof everything and keep the warmth inside. Unfortunately, their coat is also their Achilles heel. If there's any kind of contaminants in the water or say like oil that can clump the hair together, that can essentially break the seal, let the cold water come in and cause the animals to hit high hypothermia. Also, because they're constantly cleaning, they're also the po there's also that possibility of ingesting contaminants. So another reason why we really need to keep our waters as clean as possible. Now, I've never seen a sea otter in San Diego. Could we see sea otters in San Diego? Fingers crossed. So for a very long time, San Diego waters were part of the no otter zone, which means that we did not want any of the otters to be near the mainland. Anytime that there was one that came down, it was relocated to another area mm -hmm. to help develop an assurance colony. As many of us know, otters were heavily affected during the fur trade and they just were having kind of a hard time rebounding. And so fish and, wild, fish and wildlife thought that they could take um, any of these stranders or stragglers that came down, put them in one area and they could create their own colony. Unfortunately, that did not happen. And so they removed the no otter zone. So we've had two since 2012. And so hopefully we will get more in our waters very soon. Oh, that'd be really cool. All right, Ms. Mallory, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, for more wildlife facts, fun activities. I know you're always doing stuff. MissMalloryAdventures.com or on Instagram, you can find her as well. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi, thank you guys. All right.